Channel Japan. I'm Makia Rai. And I'm Makiko Tsuda. Every week we bring you the freshest information out of Japan from a studio here in Tokyo. From the economy to culture and even foods, if you want to find out what's happening in Japan right now, this is where you'll find it. Today we have a report from World Business Satellite. So Tsuda san, what's the topic? Yes, this time we'll be looking at uh, the nursing care industry. First, I want to take a look at this graph over here. It shows the percentage of people in Japan who are 65 years old and above. Mm, well, it's obvious that Japan is continuing to grow. Yes, and uh, in particular from 2025, the number of people 75 years old and above uh, is expected to grow significantly. Mm, so I've heard that there's a bigger need for nursing care uh, among people who are 75 years old and above. Yes, that seems to be the case. But in uh, 2025, it's forecast that at 430,000 people nationwide who need nursing care won't have access to it. 430,000 people. Why is that? Well, according to calculations by the health ministry, uh, in 2025, Japan will need about 2.5 million nursing care workers. But uh, the forecast is that there will only be about 2.1 million workers. But let me ask you, uh, what's your impression of uh, nursing care work? Well, from the stories I hear, it's often physically and mentally demanding work. Yes, and that seems to be a common perception, which unfortunately is a factor in the chronic shortage of workers in the industry. And uh, so the industry has been making efforts to attract more workers to the industry. And we take a look at some of the latest initiatives. A private senior citizen's home that opened this June. The residents are doing stretching exercises. At first glance, it appears to be a typical elderly care facility. But there's actually a slight difference. That difference is a door at the back. Through it, more doors. What is this place? This floor is the student condominium. Adjacent to this senior citizen's home is a condominium for students. It's never been done before, so we decided to merge the home with a student condo. The home is operated by Oryx Living and the student condo by the National Federation of University Cooperative Associations. The monthly rent is about 60,000 yen, slightly higher than the average of 40,000 to 50,000 yen in this area. Even so, all 59 rooms are occupied. She's one of the residents at this condo, a first-year student at Osaka Prefecture University. She's just gotten back, but before going to her room, she stops by the senior citizen's home next door. Hello. She's taking part in a get-together organized by Oryx Living once a month for the elderly residents and students. I just promised him that we'd hang out next time. Just us. Do some mahjong. Mahjong is all she talks about. I just started playing and enjoy it. Mahjong is a path of evil. These get-togethers are restricted to the residents of the student condominium, but others are also permitted to come if invited. Oryx Living holds these events with a certain objective in mind. There are people who want to get into social work, including some of the residents at the student condo. Through these exchanges, we're also hoping to attract potential job candidates. The nursing care industry is said to be facing a shortage of workers. Through this facility, they hope to give students first-hand experience of nursing care and draw new workers into the field. 